Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Notice it's a question to begin with. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form nor commonness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of man, a man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our grief and has carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastenment of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we were healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgressions of my people he was stricken, and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he has done no violence, neither was there deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, and he shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. And he shall see of the travail of his soul. And shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall many righteous servants be justified. Many for he shall bear their iniquity. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great. And shall divide the spoils with the strong. Because he has poured out his soul unto death and was numbered with the transgressors and he bare the sins of many and made intercessions for the transgressors.